coming to you from the Heinz Endowment today. I'm speaking with the president of the Heinz Endowment, Bobby Vaught, and he's graciously agreed to tell me his story about interacting with Joyce Rothermel over the years. Can you tell me uh, exactly uh, in what capacities you've, you've been around Joyce and how long you've known her? The fact of the matter is that uh, while I've only known her for about four years, the, the endowments has been, she has engaged the endowments uh, for almost since the beginning. Uh, that the fact of the matter is we have been privileged to be a piece of uh, what it is she has done for people uh, in alleviating hunger around this, uh, around this county for a long time. Mm -hmm. And what would you say is what you think when you first meet Joyce or when you get to know her? You know, it, it's a, there's a conflicting image of her because on the one hand she is, she's the epitome of compassion. It's obviously that it's obvious that she cares very deeply about those who um, are food insecure, uh, and she will she's compassionate and committed. On the other hand, it's very clear she is hard as steel when it comes to what she will do uh, in order to make sure that people have food. And so it's a wonderful combination of personality traits that make her so effective and have made her so effective uh, low these many years. Mm -hmm. Um, can you tell me any things that she's done to make an impact on the community? Yeah, I, we don't have enough time and, and there's not enough, uh, not enough digits on that uh, recording machine. But I, I do think there's some things that are, are a couple that I'd pick out and one in particular. And that is that while she has been all about providing food for uh, those who are hungry, the, uh, the the truth of the matter is just food wasn't enough. It's not about somebody's seconds uh, or stuff that is adequate because just adequate has never been her motto. It's the very best we can. And an example of that is the farm stand project. Uh, product, project. Um, here you have all this talk about how good it is for people to eat organic foods, to have fresh grown foods available to them. And for most particularly lower income folks who, who's, who are worried about their food, that's not a possibility. But by gum, she was not going to let that uh, not be a part of the diets of those who are, who are hungry. And so she created, with help, um, this farm stand pro uh, program where there are eight or ten around this area uh, mm -hmm. farm stands that people can go to. Uh, they can even use their food stamps uh, and have access to the very same food anyone else can have. And I think that's a standard that she's maintained uh, throughout her career, which is nothing but the very best. This isn't about something. As, this isn't about leftovers. Mm -hmm. This is about uh, first rate. It is. And we had talked earlier a little bit about some of the new things that, that Joyce has done and created um, as part of the, the food bank, and we talked about the new initiative. Can you tell me a little more? Yes, I think, um, you know, when you, th when you think, and it's hard to think about Joyce leaving, and you mm -hmm. say, gee, what is it that would mark her tenure here in a way better than anything else? It would be to continue something that just started, and that is this effort led by, spearheaded by her and what she's done for 30 years uh, of saying we can do something substantial about hunger. And so a 12 county area has banded together and said we're going to reduce uh, hunger by 50%, at least 50% uh, over the course of the next five years. Uh, a heroic uh, thing for her to do uh, because, you know, she understands that uh, to provide health care for everybody is a very complicated process, and you might not be able to promise that. To provide adequate public education is a very difficult uh, issue. You might not be able to promise this. But she knows good and well that we have the food and we have the rudiments of a distribution network which would actually allow us to make certain that no one in this region is hungry. And so I think a great testimony to what she's done so far would be to be able to carry out that vision over the course of the next five years. Yes. Um, do you have any stories that you can share on ways that she's maybe impacted your personal life or professional life or this organization? Well, I, I know that the Heinz Endowments in and of itself is not a particularly large organization, so I'm not sure this will rank high, in, uh, relatively speaking. But the fact of the matter is that she has come and visited and made presentations and has changed one behavior around here, and that is typically at, uh, at Christmas time and the holiday season. Now, we would all up here go out and, uh, to a nice lunch or dinner, and the Heinz Endowments would, uh, would be the Christmas treat. 
And after um, hearing her at one point, this, the question came up, why don't we every, have a potluck, everybody bring uh, something to eat, we'll enjoy each other's company, and then the Heinz Endowments will send what would have been spent on this meal uh, to the food bank. And I tell you, it became a, this is not so much about patting us on the back as patting her on the back for what she inspires other people to do, the generosity. And so to date, to, to this day, uh, we, we've been doing this and feeling very happy about, uh, about doing so. And we always get a thank you note from her, uh, with a note saying, uh, you know, thank you for your kindness and your generosity when in fact we ought to be sending the note to her. And that's a lovely story. Um, is there anything else that you'd like to share about Joyce? Well, I just I just think that while um, you, we look at her and we think of her as someone who has been committed to uh, helping people who who are hungry, I think we can't ever lose sight of her as an inspirational figure too, because I think she is proof positive that if in fact we are passionate about something and compassionate. Uh, we can we can move the mountains because that's exactly what she has done for 30 years. Thank you so much for meeting with me. Glad to do so.